Hello, welcome to another Ohana Lorcana video. Today we're doing a deck profile of our multiplayer deck. It's Emerald Steel. Our main win condition is Pack Tactics, so we're using four of them. I'm going to show off some combos at the end of the video. We want to use characters that are going to stick around and quest for two more. Four Curse Merfolk. If your opponents challenge them, they all discard a card. For Pegasus, this character has evasive. We're also using the Floodborne Pegasus that can be shifted on top of this card by turn 3. We have 22 uninkable cards, so we use Simba to help get rid of our dead cards. We're playing 4 Flynn Rider, again quest for 2, and it might stick around for a while. We also use 4 Mr. Smee, quest for 2 and he might stick around for an extra turn because of his high willpower. I prefer Flynn Rider over Mr. Smee. When you play Mr. Smee, sometimes your opponents expect you to help challenge and slow down the opponents. For Hey Hey, quest for two and it's going to add more cards to your inkwell. Now this is where you would be playing your Diablos, but Diablo is such a target and is always removed. I prefer characters that are going to stick around and get me the lore. I use Ursula's Trickery instead. By turn three or four, your opponents may be running low on cards in their hand, and you might draw three cards off of this. We use 4 Donald Duck, again card draw, quest for 2, his big brother Beast, quest for 2, and card draw. Alright, we have, we have evasive characters because we want our characters to stick around for more than one turn, and they quest for 2. Since our main win condition is pack tactics, we have Giant Tinkerbell, or Tinkerbell Giant Fairy. The best card in the game, a whole new world. Now we're using three grab your swords and three avalanche. Because our main win condition is pack tactics, we want to put damage on our opponent's characters. Now to get pack tactics out of the discard pile, we're using two Lady Tremaine and two Do It Again. I'll put a picture of the decklist in the community tab on the YouTube channel. Okay, let's look at some lines of play. If I have a 5 cost character on the field, I could have it sing a whole new world. If one of the cards I draw is Lady Tremaine, I could use all my ink, play Lady Tremaine, and take the action back from my discard pile. A whole new world, maybe even a pack tactics. This time I have enough cards in my inkwell to play Do It Again. Take back an action, hopefully Pack Tactics. Pay for ink, use Pack Tactics. Gain a bunch of lore, quest with my characters, gain a bunch of lore, boom, win the game. This time all we need is 8 ink, 4 to play Avalanche, and 4 to play Pack Tactics. Damage all opposing characters, Gain the lore for each one. This one's similar, just have a character sing, grab your swords, damage all opposing characters, use pack tactics, gain the lore for each one. Okay, here is our win condition for our more grindier matchups. If we're playing ruby or steel players, we're gonna mill our opponents out or make them run out of cards in their deck. Hopefully they drew a lot of cards and we need two characters that can sing a whole new world on the field. After you sing the first whole new world, use your ink, play cards from your hand, and add cards to the inkwell. This way you use some of the cards in your hand and your opponent just wastes them when you sing that second whole new world. This strategy is most effective when your opponents are drawing a lot of cards and they have a lot of removal in ruby and steel to remove our characters from questing. I tested characters with ward like Cusco and Pete. They work fine, it depends on your opponent I guess. Be careful with Cusco, we already have so many unequable cards. You can play Ray over Don Carnage, sometimes I want the higher strength to prevent him from being removed from Madame Medusa. If you don't want to play 66 cards, I suggest removing 4 Simba and 2 Lady Tremaines. But then be very careful if you're trying to mill your opponent out. Again, that's really just a backup win condition. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe, and of course, smash that like button. We'll see you next time.